I'm going to go over how to use the new multi-string tool in Vixen 3, which is right here on the toolbar. Um, I'm going to add a multi-string to my garage here. Basically a multi-string, it just lets you draw multiple lines or strings in one fell swoop. So I'm going to pick uh, the roof, the garage roof here. I'm going to pick my multi-string tool. I'll left click and release. Left click and release at the top here and then left click and release again. Now when I'm draw done drawing this I'm going to press escape and you can see it's going to make this uh, string with multiple points on it. Now what it does is it automatically sets the spacing between each pixel based on the number of pixels in the string you select in your element tree. Um, you can select the point and drag it around, move it. Um, you can also, this is a, a pixel string, if you pick the group here and it'll add multiple pixels. Now, if we select a single pixel for example and then select this, if I draw the same thing, again left click and release, drag up, left click and release, so you can see the pixel spacing here is set. Um, it'll draw this way with a set pixel length. Um, and if you left click again and release, you can see no matter where I go the pixel length is set. When I'm done drawing I just press escape and it ends the creation of that multi-string. Now I can go down here and I can set the number of pixels in the string and you can see the pixel spacing increased the number of pixels decreased. So you can set it to whatever you want. Um, lastly, if I have nothing selected in the tree, well, it works the same as if I have a single element selected, except it doesn't automatically set the element. So that's how you use the new multi-string tool in Vixen 3.